sometimes we want to store multiple states uh, for our organisms or, you know, other components that we have. Now, in this case, we have our text input, which is storing our username. And that's great. But I also have this button here. Now, right now, this is a submit button, but who's to say we can't repurpose it for something else? Uh, for this example, what I want to do is uh, have this become a counter so that every time we click it, it just increments number and then we'll display that down here as well. Uh, that's going to be separated from this um, this username. We're going to show one of two different ways we can do that with use state. Uh, so let's come back over to our our um, our code. Uh, and first of all, we need to make sure that our button can handle uh, well can can track and like emit out when it was clicked. So we need to pass in a callback for properties. So this is going to be uh, on click. Uh, you're going to be a callback. Now, in this case, I don't really need to pass in anything. So I'm just going to say it's it's nothing. We don't get anything. Let's uh, we get that callback. Um, and then I want for this button. on click um i don't necessarily like need anything special to happen so i'm just going to emit this straight out so equals props dot on click now you're going to yell at me because i expected a function found a u callback Oh, we need we do need to handle um it's some kind of event isn't it so it's it wants this thing well we can't just go directly here can we so we can create our own callback now so let's do the um the this is going to be the the button on click now we're going to take in the event but I really don't care about this. So in this case, I'm just going to say, I don't care. Now, when this happens, I want to just emit out uh, up here, this the, the properties. So that does mean we have to do a move. And we have to copy this. So then in here we're going to use our on click and we're going to emit and the value is just nothing and then our handling our handler here on click equals that's going to be this button on click so that will that'll work here um, let's also make this um, oh let, let's just come in and we'll go to our molecules our custom button here. Uh, we now need our. Uh, this is going to be button changed. Create a callback for this. Um, this isn't taking anything in. Uh, and uh, right now we can just log out that the button was clicked. Here's our custom button and we're gonna do an on click. Button changed, I already don't like that name. Let's change that to button clicked. Looking down here, we have no errors. If we come over here and then I click it, ooh, we are getting a refresh of the page. Now that's probably because uh, this is inside of a form. 
that we have right here. So I'm actually going to change this uh, from a form to a div again. Uh, mainly because we're going to be working with forms soon, but not not right now. And for this example, we don't really need to worry about that. So now when I click this, it doesn't refresh the page. We get this button clicked, and every time I press it again, we get a count up here going up, which is great, but I would love to see the count actually in the HTML down here. Uh, that means more state. So the first way of doing states here, uh, multiple states, is to actually just create multiple state variables that's going to handle a use state. So right now we have this username state that's then immediately cloned. Let's create another one. We'll call this like the button count state. Uh, and this is also going to be a use state. And our initialize function, we're just going to set it to be a zero. By default, the number is going to be an i32. If I really wanted to, I could set this to be like a, a u32, because I'm not going to ever allow this to go to negatives. Uh, then when let's like let's make sure that we have this printed out first. So let's do another p tag. So button has been clicked. Uh, we'll want to use this button count state. Now, in this case, we can just plain dereference. I don't need the reference as well. And then times. So let's save this, make sure there's no errors. And there we go. Button has been clicked zero times. Now, of course, that's not working yet because we're not setting anything inside of this button clicked callback. So let's do that really quickly. So we need to clone the button uh, count state and then do a move with that. So let cloned button count state. We're going to move it into this callback. And then instead of a log, I now want to increment this. So I can have access to the number for it. Uh, we know we can get that by just dereferencing it. So we can just do uh, maybe our count is equal to a dereferenced uh, button, cloned button, uh, count state. And that should give us this u32 and now i want to set this so i want to do a cloned button count state dot set uh, and it's going to be count plus one and now if we come over here and i click now our button has been we're tracking how many times our button has been clicked so this is um, this is one way of sort of handling state. It can get a bit messy, as we can see. Uh, we can uh, you know, we can hide some of the complexity by throwing these into functions, maybe that like handles the state changes. Um, that could be helpful, but in the end, for every single state, we need to clone it when it's going to be used inside of a callback function. And as we can see here. The more states we have, the more clone. Well, it, we need one clone per um, callback function, um, or really callback function with a closure inside. But now with multiple states, it, the names are getting a little bit messy. It's getting a little bit hard to, to read. I could separate them out with spaces, but it's not really solving the problem. Uh, so. In, uh, in the next lesson, we'll talk about potentially a different way of using a uh, use state that may or may not help this problem. It will really depend upon which one you prefer. Uh, but that's the next video. Hopefully, this has been helpful. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.